Hi, this is Dawn from Trail Testers. Today I'm reviewing the SatMap Active 10 Plus GPS. This is a much revised unit compared to the original SatMap. You can probably see here, I'm in woodland cover at the moment, but the unit brings up my GPS position quite clearly here on this OS map. We're using the one for Gwyneth and Snowdonia National Park. So I can use the keys on the right here to zoom in. You can see I'm here on this footpath. Or I can zoom out. And then you'll see here the, the yellow line with the uh, red arrows. I put a route in earlier. And this is the route I'm going to follow in a few moments. So if I want to check that route, I press this key here, I go to Routes menu, and I can now view the route that I've put in. And here you can see it shows the, exact, the whole route. And by pressing this button Profile, it shows elevation, it shows maximum altitude, minimum altitude, and approximate time that's going to take me to walk this, though I feel that's a little optimistic at an hour. And if I'm coming back along the route and I want to find my way back, and let's say it's foggy or whatever, I can reverse the route simply by pressing that button. You'll now see the arrows have been reversed to help you go back to your original go-to point that you've set. So I find this a very useful feature. It's November, so the rams are now out in the field for topping time. Now as I'm walking across this field, you can probably see the cottage through the trees towards the left of the picture. And now the sap map has updated the position showing that we're coming to the route and just a few hundred yards away. I've got the unit set so it turns off every few seconds and this is to save battery power and all I've got to do to get back to the position on the GPS screen is to press this left hand bottom key and that'll bring our map up straight away. Now as you can see here if I zoom in to our position just over there is that cottage and then because I'm going to be aiming off in my navigation to find the path I'm going to look for this stone ruin here and that should be over in that direction this will show that we've got a, a very clear signal we've got three, six, seven satellites locked on and another three satellites have been acquired giving us a position where we have got four meters of accuracy. And there we are. On the map we're right next to the stone building and there it is. When we first got this unit many people told me you don't want to be out on the hills navigating with a GPS you must have your map and compass with you. And I must say I agree to a certain extent. But when we got the sat map, we decided to really have a good go at navigating just with GPS. To that extent, we've been keeping our map and compass in our rucksack and using the GPS, testing it out just in the same way for navigation as we would using map, traditional map and compass. And here you can see here is the position where I am on the track at the moment, clearly marked. And to the north is a property called Glyn Bark, a farm on the other side of the valley. If we look across the valley, there is the farm. The GPS map clearly shows where we are. There is Glyn Bark, and down here is the other property shown here on the map. So at all times, if you use the GPS in the same way 
that you would use a map and compass, you can be sure that you're always going to know where you are. I thought we'd look at the compass here on the sat map and the silver compass. Showing the same bearing. We've walked quite a way now up this hill. You can see the Arenig is behind us now and the path goes over here into coniferous forest. And you can see our position here. We've just passed this farm and here we are on the track. Well, I've come up here now into the forest and I've decided to stop for a brew. So let's see how we do. Ah, it's getting going. Well, I thought I'd check my position here. And as you can see, we're in uh, quite heavy cover. Back there to where we came through. Let's see what the sat map can make of it. GPS map. There we are. Whoops, I'll turn it this way. You can see we're just inside the forest. And then there is the hill beyond. Well, you can see that we're in deep forest cover here as we've moved along the track. And the sat map has got our position here on the track. We've still got three bars. And it's showing that we've now got six meters of accuracy. Here in the forest, it's pretty dense cover. So it's uh, interesting to see how the sat map is constantly updating and it's never shown otherwise than we're on the track. That's a very good device. I'd be happy to have this as a primary navigator pretty much anywhere. Well, we've now come to a break in the forest. And the path is turning away there to the right. And as you can see, the sat map shows that we should now be taking a hard right turn. So, we can't recommend enough this um, sat map GPS Active 10 Plus. It really is very good indeed. Well, this is Dawn from Trail Testers. I hope you enjoyed this review of the SatMap Active 10 Plus GPS. Goodbye.